Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about window functions first and last. Window functions are commonly used by Spark transformations in Spark development. While using window functions, most of the most of the developers are using the commonly used window functions such as rank, dense rank, row number, lead, lag. But coming to first and last, these are less known window functions to most of the developer. Developers don't, ha don't have much awareness on these functions. As a result, they are not applying these functions in their day-to-day -day work. But these functions have great potential to solve some complex uh, problem statements. So without having proper awareness, whenever there is a situation where these functions can be applied easily, but developers used to think about some roundabout approach. At the end, they are going to develop poor solution. As it is roundabout solution, it is going to hit the performance as well. So having proper knowledge on these uh, window functions are essential. When you have good knowledge on these functions, it can, uh, it can be handy in those complex scenarios and you can develop straightforward solution. As a result, it is going to improve the performance as well. Right. First of all, we can understand what is window function. Window functions are a type of PySpark transformation which creates window of uh, records by grouping uh, the data set or data frame based on a particular key then applying certain logic like uh, rank, dense rank, first, last within that uh, window. And coming to first, uh, this is one of the window function which returns first value of a column for each window. And last is just opposite to first. So it is going to return the last uh, <coughs> value of a column for each window. Let me give some simple example for these functions. Let us assume we have a data frame which is having customer ID, transaction date and amount. It's having six columns and uh, coming to customer ID, we are having three records for customer C1 and three records for customer C2. Now our requirement is I want to find the first uh, transaction date for each customer. So if we look at uh, customer C1, there are three records. Uh, this is for uh, 1st of June, this is for uh, 2nd of June and this is for 3rd of June. So out of these three records, the first transaction date is 1st of June. So and similarly for customer C2, uh, I have three records. Even whenever I am going to create a, a bucket or window for the C2, the first uh, record for C2 would be 1st of June. So I want my end result should uh, look like this one. I want to get a uh, first transaction date for each customer. So for customer C1, it's going to be 1st of June and customer C2, it is going to be 1st of uh, June. Similarly, if I when I want uh, the last transaction date for each customer, then I can go with last function. So let me summarize. I'm having a data frame which is having six records, three records for customer C1 and three records for customer C2. Whenever we are applying window based on this customer ID, then what happens is it is going to create window for you, uh, each unique value of customer ID. Here we are having two unique value. One is C1, another one is C2. So it is uh, creating two windows. Okay, in the first window, it is going to keep only these three records and in the second window, it is going to keep these three records. Now, when we apply first uh, f first window function within this uh, window then it is going to return this record in case I am going to apply last then it is going to apply this one because in this window this is the first value and this is second second value similarly for the second window for customer C2 the first value would be this one and the last value would be this one I hope you understood coming to syntax this is similar to any window function. So let's say I'm going to create a new column first value in the data frame df. Then I'm using with column first value. Then this is the syntax for first window function. So it starts with keyword first. Within that I have to give a column. In our case it's a transaction date. I want to get the first transaction date. So we need to specify that column. Then we have to use over class. Within the over class we have to use the keyword window. Then dot partition by. So for based on which column we have to create window. So in our, in our case, it's customer ID. So based on customer ID, I have to create partition. I have to create window. Then I have to give uh, customer ID here and order by that is optional. In case we are having multiple uh, records and we have to order based on a particular uh, column, then we can use that. This is the syntax for first window function. And coming to last, that is also quite similar to first except the first keyword. Here we used first, but coming to last, it's going to be last. 
then uh, we have to give a column uh, the value of which column we need then uh, over class within that we have to use window dot partition by based on which uh, column we have to create windows or buckets then order by that is optional this is how uh, first and last works i hope you understood what is the uh, uh, window function what is uh, first and last how to use that now i can give a demo for these functions in databricks environment so let's get started with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment and uh, my cluster is also up and running in the first step i am going to create sample data frame through which i can show uh, first and last window functions so in the first step i am creating data using the data i am creating a data frame which is going to have three columns customer id transaction date and amount and i am converting uh, transaction date to date uh, field date data type then i am displaying that is the first step let me execute this step execution started and we can see the output here so this is exactly same uh, data set which i showed in the powerpoint so this is having customer id transaction date and amount for customer id we are having two unique values so whenever we are going to create window based on customer id it is going to produce two uh, different windows this is uh, just for demo i am using simple data set but in real time project you might have many keys and uh, there could be many uh, records for each window right now i have created the data set now i have to apply the window function for that we have to import the library window that is part of pyspark.sql.window i have imported now i am going to create window uh, specification i can directly use this one within the syntax directly i can use here in this place otherwise i can create the window spec separately then i can use that uh, here as well so in this step i am creating window specification this is user defined variable name basically we can give anything but coming to this one it should starts it should start with window dot partition by i am partitioning based on customer id so we are having two customers i want to create two part two partitions or two windows here so i have created the window then i am going to apply in my data frame so we have created sample data frame df on the df uh, what i am going to do is i am going to create a new column which will uh, which will be called as first transaction date there i am going to apply the window function first i want to get the transaction date value dot over i am giving window specification that is nothing but this window specification which we defined and similarly i am going to create another column for last transaction date so for that i am going to use the syntax last within that i want the transaction date and within over i am giving the window specification uh, let me uh, execute this step so that you can understand the output execution started and we can see the output now so coming to this one uh, in our source data frame we are six uh, records and in uh, in this window output also we can see six records so uh, coming to window function it is not going to reduce the number of records in uh, group by in any aggregate function basically it will uh, aggregate uh, the calculation so for each uh, particular key it is going to produce only one record so here this is the key so for example if i am going to apply a aggregate function based on customer id for c1 it is going to produce only one record for c2 it is going to produce only one record but coming to windows function it is not going to reduce the number of uh, records so for each and every record it will be creating the calculated column as a result in our original data set we were having six uh, six records now it has added two columns which we computed just now first transaction date and last transaction date and for each packet it has produced the first transaction date um, first of june and last transaction uh, date that is third of june and it is repeated for uh, you know all the customer uh, id repeated uh, values now the thing is uh, i want to get only one record for uh, customer id c1 and one record for customer c2 so for that what i can do is i can simply drop these two records and after that i can apply distinct then it will uh, eliminate these two uh, records and also it will produce only one record for each customer id so that is what i am going to do in the next step so i am uh, dropping the column unwanted columns using drop statement and i am applying a distinct um, uh, distinct uh, distinct function then finally we can see the output let me execute this step here we can see for customer id c1 the first transaction date that is first of june last transaction date that is first third uh, of june same for c2 in this exercise 
right this is how we can use first and last uh, uh, window function in our day to day work and the same thing can be achieved using spark sql as well so so far i have explained through pyspark but the same solution can be achieved using spark sql also so in order to uh, develop the solution using spark sql first we have to convert the data frame into view for that we have to use the syntax create or replace a temp view then i am giving a name for the view so i am going to call that as transactions so let me execute this step now we have converted the data frame into uh, sql view now uh, directly we can use sql uh, query on top of this view so uh, this notebook is actually python notebook here we can see it's a python notebook but i want to use a sql uh, statement here that's the reason we have to use magic command percentage sql then within that i'm uh, writing uh, ansi sql statement so this is select within that i'm using distinct customer id and i'm using two computed columns transaction date uh, first transaction date and last transaction date and it's uh, similar to any traditional ansi sql window function so i'm using first function then over within over class i can give a partition by and also order by optionally then uh, i'm uh, creating a new column called first transaction date same last i'm creating another uh, column last transaction date then uh, it can uh, produce the output that we are looking for let me execute this step the execution is completed now we can see the output so this is how we can uh, use uh, first and last window functions both in pyspark and spark uh, sql i hope you understood i have uh, just given some example but uh, in my next video i will come up with some real time scenario where these functions can be used where uh, these functions have great potential where it can simplify our work i will come up with a real time use case uh, for uh, this window function i hope you enjoyed if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel and also please subscribe this channel don't don't forget to click on the bell button to get latest updates and videos on smart and databricks thank you